Factors that affect enzyme activity. Enzymes have a specific tertiary or quaternary structure that enables them to catalyze specific reactions. If the structure of the enzyme is disrupted, then the shape of the active site can change. A change in the shape of the active site means that the substrate can no longer bind to the enzyme and the enzyme loses its ability to catalyze a reaction. The enzyme is said to be denatured. The first factor we look at is temperature. The rate of a chemical reaction increases as the temperature increases. For enzyme catalyzed reactions, there is an optimum temperature. Beyond this temperature, the extra kinetic energy changes the conformation of the protein by disrupting the bonds that are responsible for the tertiary structure. The enzyme is no longer able to bind the substrate. Optimum temperature. The temperature corresponding to the maximum rate of reaction for an enzyme is its optimum temperature. Many enzymes in the human body have an optimum temperature of 37 degrees C. The next factor that affects enzyme action is pH. Changes in pH can affect the ionic bonds within the tertiary structure, resulting in a change in the protein's conformation. A change in the conformation can affect the shape of the active site and the ability of the enzyme to bind the substrate. The pH corresponding to the maximum rate of reaction for an enzyme is its optimum pH. Optimum pH. Here we have two enzymes. There's pepsin, which is found in the stomach, and trypsin, which is found in the intestine. Pepsin, an enzyme found in the stomach, has a low optimum pH but becomes inactive once in the alkaline environment of the intestine. Trypsin, an enzyme found in the intestine, has an optimum pH of 8, which allows it to catalyze reactions in the alkaline environment of the intestine. The last factor that affects enzyme action is the presence of heavy metal ions. Heavy metal ions such as lead, copper, silver and mercury are poisonous due to their effect on enzymes. When present as positive ions in the body, they react with sulfhydryl groups in the side chain of cysteine, forming a covalent bond with a sulfur atom and displacing a hydrogen atom. This disrupts the folding of the protein and may change the shape of the active site, preventing the binding of the active site to the substrate. So here we have the sulfhydryl group in the cysteine side chain and here's a positive silver ion and the silver ion forms a covalent bond with the sulfur atom and this hydrogen atom here is displaced giving a positive hydrogen ion.